So starting certainly in the 50s when Christine Jorgensen like came back from Denmark as the GI bombshell who had transitioned following World War II, there has been a curiosity and media interest in trans characters. But um, unfortunately, most of the time they look like this. So I don't think that Norman Bates in Psycho is a transgender character, don't get me wrong. But I think that connection between putting on women's clothes and psychotically killing someone has continued like a heartbeat, a horrible heartbeat, through like decades of Hollywood imagery. So that's Rod Steiger in drag for a film called I Think No Way to Treat a Lady. That's Michael Caine in Dressed to Kill where he was a psychotic killer as a, dressed up like a woman. That's of course Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs who was going to make a suit of women's skin because he was denied as sex change operation that is freebie in the bean and that trans character was managed to be both an assassin and a murder victim so they managed to get both victim and villain in the same film um and honestly i could have had four slides of pictures of these types of characters from hollywood movies so we've been there just not real